Bags. What's the password? Rockets go boom in the sky above. Follow me. Kenji! Kenji, come here, my boy! Kenji, my toxic. What are you doing here? Don't tell me you've gone through all that talk so quick already, you Kenji. Man. What can I say? People love this shit. They gave some to a trainer the other day, lost the shit, literally. I never seen anything like it before in my life. Yeah, uh, your boy Cass knows how to make good stuff, right? Looking for more? You hear the bullshit. Let's talk business. Yeah, of course, of course. Same rate? No, since you moved that pretty quick last time, uh, 15%. That's what I'm gonna let you get it for. You know, you're making me look good in front of the boss lady. I'm gonna make you look good too. Make you a little extra scratch money. Carl, Carl, bring the case up. Thanks, thanks. But, uh, I was wondering, I got a little problem. Could you help me? Ah, uh, Uncle Cass, he's gonna take care of you. What's your problem there, my boy? Yeah, yeah. Uh, you still running trainers? Well, well, well. Think we got someone trying to move up quickly in the organization. I'm gonna tell you a story. All right, I don't want you to pay attention. My dad used to run trainers back in the day. You know, he never could really get his hands around the concept of it. Ended up costing him a lot of money, you know. Ended up having to leave the organization. Well, poor old fool ended up getting killed by a runner, thinking he was a trainer. You know, listen, Cass, I meant no disrespect, so forget it, all right? Just forget it. <laughs> disrespect? Disrespect? Let me tell you about disrespect. I was the one who hired the runner that killed that fool. That's disrespect. Now, what are you looking for? I mean, I just pulled the Dragonite last week. I got a couple. I got a ton of Raditans. Well, I'm looking for a Gyarados. Really? Yeah. Uh, what makes you think I got something like that laying around? Well, you know, I'm just asking, Cass. Come on, you know I'm good for paying you back for it. Mm -hmm. I mean, if it's gonna cost you that much. And that's an odd request there, Kenji, my boy. You know, things I don't, I just pulled one of these, you know, three days ago. From a cop. A cop? Yeah. A cop. What the hell, Cass? Come on, man. You tell me, Kenji, my boy. Nobody pushes tox in this town as fast as I do. Nobody. Now you tell me, are you a cop? Cass, I'm not a cop. Now, Come on. How do I know that? How do I know you're not a cop? Tell me right now. Well, you don't know. <laughs> you should have seen your face. I'm not a cop. You see this guy? I thought I was going to kill him. Nah, I could have, though. But I like you, Kenji. So much that, you know, you might be tired of this shitty middleman crap. How, how would you like to work for the source itself? What you getting at? Rocket's looking for prospects. Like you. Boss lady likes you. Can use a few more hands with the uh, job I got coming up. Want in? Yeah, yeah, I want in. It's a lot better than being a grunt. All right, good, good. Here's where you need to be next week at 1430. Bring your six best Pokemon and be ready.
All right, thanks, man. Thanks. <laughs> Carl, get the man the case. Now, let me tell you something. Before I see you next week, you better have it sold. And here, take this too. That's on the house. Now, I'm gonna tell you straight up. Take your time with that. It's got a real wild spirit. Gyaradoses are hard to break. And uh, just don't end up dead, all right? Now, get out of here. Tired of talking to you. Got it, got it. All right, thanks. Saffron, law enforcement is separated into two fronts, the police force that protect and serve the peace of the city, and the Pokemon Enforcement Bureau, charged with safety and protection of trainers and Pokemon. These are their stories.